Hello and welcome to episode 12 of our Timberborn Update 3 Let's Play Harder Mode with the Iron Teeth Faction. Boy, that's a mouthful. But last episode, we got a whole lot of stuff done. Had this aquatic uh, farming area built out. We did a whole lot more in terms of water collection. Organized a whole bunch of our, well, everything really. And then built the piece de resistance. We have this enormous, huge 7,000 log capacity uh, well, log storage, for lack of a better term. And, uh, yeah, suffice to say, uh, we've been pretty busy, but there's a lot more that still needs to be done, and especially with regard to our pitiful excuse for an industrial area here. We're going to work on that some today. We have a uh, pretty un, uh, unused area over here that we might want to look into using for industrial purposes. We also have a couple of other options we have over here if we can... Uh, get our uh, guys to come over here. Pretty uh, convenient spot as well. So we were, we're going to take a look at uh, some of what we have going on, figure out a good usage for our land and everything. And by the end of today's episode, we're going to have hopefully not, well, we don't really have a problem with planks right now, but it's been kind of a choke point in the past. We have 200 dynamite. Wow. Well, you know what that means? It means we can blow some stuff up. I forget what it was that I wanted to actually uh, actually detonate, so maybe we won't for the time being. I, I know I did want to um, make this area a little deeper, possibly. But uh, I'm not married to that idea. For right now, we just need to make sure that we're uh, not going to set ourselves up for any sort of, well bad stuff because we do have 49 day drought we have yet to experience we're at the first day of a new cycle temperate weather so this is a chance for our reservoirs to refill and for us to get into a much better place in terms of being prepared so actually i think probably a pretty good use of some of our time early in this episode would be to continue uh, planting some dynamite here and making this whole thing a double depth reservoir. So we have 200 of it. We have 200 dynamite just chilling. So why not use them? Why not? There's pretty much no reason not to uh, not to do that. So let's give it a whirl here. They should be able to get to pretty much all of this, I think. We've got a veritable army of beavers ready and willing to do uh, whatever it takes to explode stuff. Look at them go. Here they come. Where are these guys going? Oh, they're going down the stairs. I forgot there were stairs there. Well, that'll give them something to do for a little bit. I think I'm really liking the idea of using this area for some more uh, industrialization. So I think we're going to want to start by putting some bridges out. We can have a nice pair of four length bridges come out over here. Oh, that's still frog path. We don't know. Frog path doesn't go there. Sorry, frog enthusiasts, but the, uh, the frog path is for underwater only as we have a previously established, but we can put in right here. Where are these guys going? Oh, they're going to come all the way. Where are these guys going? Oh, they're going to. Okay. All right. It's just so fascinating watching them uh, do all this stuff. Anyway, we'll get that all uh, set to go there. Just uh, get rid of all these trees. No reason to uh, really keep those around. Detonate all that and all that. We don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough uh, detonation. No, we we probably don't. But that's fine. They'll make more. We can always prioritize the rest of the stuff. Anyway. 
And it looks like we got a couple of uh, different things being made at the same time as our haulers start moving materials over here. Plus, we have at least another eight days before the temperate cycle is over. And it is pretty important to get more uh, water depth if you can. And now this side is nice and full, which means it's going to start flowing through here and into here, I believe. Or it should at least. Yeah, we got time. So we'll let them take care of this. And in the meantime, kind of uh, large scale plan out what's going to go in here. Obviously, the way that the Iron Teeth do their power, we're going to have to have engines. Probably would be smart for these to all kind of be in a line here. I don't really, that's why we're going to end up blowing some of this up. They need to be connected to the same power shaft, although they don't have to even really be in the same area necessarily as long as the power can be transferred. But we'll see, uh, we'll see just how long it takes them to get over here. They are making pretty good time. In fact, we can go ahead and put them on turbo mode again. With the amount of builders we have on task, it should hopefully not take too long. Although I do think I will bump these up now that we have all of this put in place. I do think we'll bump the rest of the uh, stuff in pretty short order. We have 60 left. Yeah, we'll prioritize at least this one, because that's going to let us build a little more evenly here. And while we're kind of on the subject, uh, a couple of you have left some very good comments about when beavers eat and drink, which is in the morning and at night. So having the uh, stuff right here next to the housing is probably a smart idea. So we're not too bad right here in terms of food. Not super ideal. Uh, the water is in a good spot, and considering most of the jobs are right around here presently, I think we're doing okay. We just need to make sure that they have enough time to do, well, anything. And right now they're kind of spending a lot of time doing stuff that is not really uh, conducive to getting a higher well-being score. We're going to fix this. We'll get there. It's just going to take a uh, decent bit of time. And so since we're going to be moving most of the production over here, you might be wondering, what does this mean for our Titanic Tower of Timber? The Jenga Tower, as one of one of you guys in the comments decided it should be called. I kind of like that name. It's a fun game. Uh, we're not going to get rid of this. We're going to leave this here. I'll probably build a second one over here for storage. And we'll probably end up putting another tree farm somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. We have all this land we're not really using. And I think it would be smart of us to take advantage of that. All right. Now, the good news is all of these are completely full and it is now backfilling over here. And we have a pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of this already ready to go. I am going to detonate part of this just so we can, you know, actually make use of some of the extra capacity. Yeah, see, that's already lowered that quite a bit, but it's going to keep filling. Is this already oh, down at zero? It sure is. Okay, that's fine. That's looking good. I really want to make sure these guys get to uh, some of this before too long. Yeah, now they can... Uh, I can get to a lot of this now. All right, so now that this is a little bit more cleared out, let's check our path distance here. Oh, we have so much room, so much room. This is a, it's not a straight shot, but it is straight-ish. Connectivity between north and south, well, I guess. Direction in this game is kind of ambiguous, but it's not too difficult to get over here. So this should still be fine. 
would probably be smart of us to actually have all of these things kind of uh, separate anyway. Yeah, like if I were to do that and then have that set up like that, that's going to be three of these. We're going to need more than three. I can promise you that. So that would be four. Once this is fully done here, we could have six lumber mills. Of course, these guys are going to be building this first because that is a lot easier to immediately get at. Yeah, we're not going to connect this all up until we're sure everything's good to go. And the reason I'm grouping these in clusters like this is because since we can flip the building, I can actually feed power at the end in through the front of the building once this uh, little bit of land is gone away. And I think, hopefully for right now, six of these over here should be enough. We're currently using uh, three. <laughs> Which, uh... I guess I don't even really have to get rid of those either, but I probably will so I can turn this into more uh, more foresting area. Okay, so they actually can't reach the rest of this because it's too far away. So we will fix that. I was wondering why that was taking them so long. Anyway, day five... How much of the rest of this have they, uh... Oh, wow. Okay, they've made very good progress. So we will, uh... We'll let them continue with that. As long as we, uh... Have a little bit more stored up in here. Because of all the explosions, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Alright, I just want them to, uh... To get at this stuff. Because they certainly don't have, uh... Well, any more of this done. Uh, another thing, while we're over here, another thing we could pretty uh, easily fix It's going to be the uh, whole problem of not having... Actually, I don't need to unplant this. No, there's no, no reason for that. I just need to get rid of one of these and put in a staircase. Metal stairs down, and then I need to put another aquatic farmhouse. Something tells me they're not going to get to that part for a while, but I can go ahead and put in another one of these. Yeah, this is probably fine right here. Because these guys might be having kind of a hard time taking care of everything, so we give them a little bit of help. We'll be in a pretty good spot. Hopefully they can get that done sooner rather than later. We also probably ought to uh, rotate these ladders, although that is not an immediate pressing need. Considering most of this is full already. If I were to redo this, I don't know. I think they could do it fast, but they're so preoccupied with all these, uh, all these dynamite things right now. Right now, too far. Oh, I can't. I can't do that because we don't have. Uh, I just have to let that be harvested first. So let's prioritize. Spatter dock so they can harvest all of that. I just gotta get this single thing out of the way. I can put some stairs in the corner. Still gonna take a little bit, but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to put this in the other corner here. Because they work a, kind of like a radius away from the farmhouse. And uh, related, we're gonna be fixing some of this as well. I've received a couple of... Uh, Pretty good ideas to try and solve some of these problems. Not like our food supply is really an issue right now anyway. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot for that. 
don't really have to worry too much. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and set that off. Because now I can put in the last lumber mill, for right now at least. That guy right there, and then... Well, I kind of can't, kind of can't do this. Oh, we're gonna have an early, early drought here. Well, that is fine. Let's see. Six of those, half dozen of the other uh, gear workshops. I know we can't have six gear workshops, but we can. think I have this set up correctly. Yes. We can have eight of those and four gear workshops. Get rid of those. All right, that's looking good. So all I have to do, actually, no, we're going to be smart here. We're going to use our friends, the, uh, where is this? Is it under power? Universal powered levy. We have the uh, we have the technology. Unlock that bad boy, and we can build some uh, very helpful power transmission here. Set this up as a super high priority here. And Universal allows power transmission in any direction. Well, six directions at least from the sides of the cube. So we'll just put three down here and then we can have paths over the top. And it'll connect the buildings. It'll be just like the underground wiring in many subdivisions where you don't have to have power poles everywhere. A marvelous feat of engineering. They still haven't harvested... Still have not harvested this... Uh, this is why we need two of these because they can't keep up with everything. Now they gotta come back and do this, and then it's, it's very unlikely they're gonna get to the corner of this anytime soon. All right, that's taken care of. So what we can actually do here is we can just keep building out. And probably what we should be doing in the first place. That would be another two right here. Well, another one. I guess. All right, that's taken care of. I guess I shouldn't detonate that while somebody's on top of it. So I need to wait for them to kind of go away. All right, and then down in here, remember where we put this thing. Come on, why'd you, uh, why'd you do that? Right, one point two. Oh, I, I was I was hoping we'd get more of this done, but uh, clearly, I might have slightly misjudged just exactly how much we would need here. Let's see if we can get this guy to uh, get done soon-ish. We do have all the materials; it's just a little slow. But once that is done, we'll get that put in place. These are going to need quite a bit of power. So we'll have to uh, have to have some engines here. Which we could actually just have their own their own row kind of right like that. We're going to run out of metal blocks so I'm, I'm not going to build all of these at once. I'm just going to start with one. Then we'll have all of this connected here. Okay, is that going to match doorways? Looks like it is. I know I said at the start of this I'm pairing the doorways so that I can uh, connect through the front of the buildings because I had legitimately forgotten about the <laughs> universal powered levees. We never really taken advantage of those. So now we can just say we pair the doorways because it looks cool. Look at all this we have. We have a fantastic amount of grilled spatter dock and cattail crackers already taken care of there. And they are really never going to get over there to that corner. 
0.2 days, 0.2 days. Tell you what. We'll just make use of all of this storage before it's too late. And by that, I mean it already kind of is too late. 16. Oh, come on. They're throwing me the softballs here. Where's my 49 day drought? I expect it. The viewers expect it. Oh, gotta remember the frog path. Yeah, let's get the rest of uh, the rest of this all situated here. All right, so that is going to be taken care of here. Okay, mark that as a super low priority, but somebody can start hauling logs into it, which is going to be very useful. All right, good news is this is not going to be a problem for us at all in terms of water storage. We actually can build some more storage now that ours is full. And since this is a new... Uh, a new area for workers. I figured it would probably be smart of us to put in some uh, water storage just for our workers. So, put in two tanks right here that can accept goods. And by goods, I mean water. Just kind of scatter these about for our convenience. And since we have all of this over here, I can probably actually take uh, take those apart. Well, I could take really all of this apart. Just leave these guys alone for right now. And then come get the rest of the materials to build another engine here. Incredibly, they're still running at a 45% or so. Very efficiently designed over here. So what we're going to end up doing is having storage for all of these materials right here on site. Very conveniently. Uh, is this? Okay, good. I can actually, uh, well, I guess I don't have to have any of these right here. I'm going to put in metal stairs right like that. Give them a little bit of a boost. Build that immediately. Then these guys can get right to work. And then that way these guys will go out this way. These guys will go out this way. And eventually they'll get everything done a little bit faster. Not like we're really hurting for, uh, for supplies here. But uh, efficiency and optimization is the name of the game. So why not, right? Oh, there's so many gears and logs just chilling over here. Okay, and that's storage for planks. We're going to end up moving that. I think what we'll do, I'm going to have to put in right here. Those have to go in a pile. So these are going to be for planks. And then we'll have another big log storage tower over here somewhere. But the finished goods planks need to go over here. It's probably not a bad idea to have kind of a strategic reserve of these things anyway. But I think yeah, we've got some over there so I can get rid of that and they can start transferring planks over to here. Looking good. 91%, yeah. We'll just kind of incrementally add these guys in here one at a time. It's kind of a good thing that we did get this uh, short drought though because it's going to really allow us to have even better preparation when the big one does come. In fact, the pumping over here is really not a 
really not very impressive, is it? It's just these four. I could have built more, but we got so enamored with this enormous contraption over here. Come to think of it, we probably realistically can support some more beavers at this point. And we're going to need some more for all those jobs, so I think what we'll go ahead and do... Build five more. Build five more. Is that going to be a little, uh, a little reckless? Yeah, probably. But uh, I think we're going to be fine because we've got some pretty big plans and we have tons of food and water stored up right now, so I'm not worried in the slightest. Okay, we don't quite have enough gears to build another one of these right now. But we will get there. Now the smelter, we have this guy right here. Actually, it would probably be faster for him to come over here. Um, now before we build this, I kind of like the idea of having uh, more of these universal levees to uh, transmit power across. I think that's a very smart method of design here. So I'm going to go ahead and just build all of this out, even if that's just a touch ugly. How are we uh, how are we doing over here? Okay, they're making good progress. Good progress. Okay, we're already, already full of planks here. Man. Yeesh. How am I going to get around another one of these things? I guess I could just build yeah, I could just build another uh, set of these guys and put in a uh, yeah, just put in a little guy right here put in some stairs right there Fine, we'll have links everywhere. Won't really do any harm like that, will it? Of course, we're going to have to have storage for gears, which we already kind of do over here. Tons of storage for gears, we just don't have a lot of gears. We, we got to move all this over here. Alright, um, I was going to... Yes, I was going to prioritize those so we can get the... Uh, Whole power thing going here. I think probably we're going to need to... Uh, the fourth one is going to be fine. We're going to want to leave this open for another row of engines, most likely. Kind of separate the different things in here. Uh, paper mills, we definitely need to make some more of those. Those have kind of an annoying shape. So we might have to have a slightly different geometry for that. The rest of this is looking good. We still have empty, uh, still have empty lodging, barracks, what have you. This might become a problem with birth and death waves eventually. We'll see. We're trying to get our beavers to have productive and enjoying lives. I just can't wait for the rest of this to get done. All right. Uh... We can also put uh, these guys here. All these reachable, looks like they are. All right, now we're getting somewhere almost there. Yes, yes, bring me the explosives. Okay, and then this is, of course, going to be the universal powered levy. That'll be very convenient to go there. And get rid of all of that. And I can actually build... We have four of these. I could build another two. And then put in... Oh, that's not going to line up, though. That's going to make me kind of mad. If I leave this like so, ten wide. Ten wide. Twelve, twelve tiles wide, excuse me. That's four of these. We can always build out later. That's fine. I'm just... I'm so tempted. I want it so badly. 
<laughs> to have all these things line up in a very, uh, very pleasing manner. Okay, so if I put another one here, I can actually come along the back side. We can slightly disrupt the geometry by coming in like this. Just have one, uh, one tile thinner. We could even do. Mm, okay, that might that might not work. This one is going to also have to be. Oh, I shouldn't have built these. These should have been. Should have been universal powered levees. So I guess we'll have them collect these remnants. We'll just put three more of those in there. What, am I getting a little out of hand doing this? Probably. I don't think I care though. This is just such a uh, nice, even design. I know you might not think it's super uh, aesthetically pleasing, but it is organized. Kind of. <laughs> All right. Uh, so as soon as I get that paper set up, we can take this out, and then the explosives. Uh, can also actually we could probably leave. Could probably leave the. Uh, melter here and then just replace yeah we could replace this explosives factory with another smelter maybe or we could just take all of this out that isn't the uh well everything reorganize slightly get these builders huts but somewhere else that one's not even fully staffed no medicine in here. Okay, these guys are waiting on dandelions. Okay, we got to take care of that too. Foresters plant dandelions though, so that's uh that's good news. Look at look at these guys go, man. They are going after it. They are getting it done. All right. Do we have Yep, those guys are working. These guys are working. I have another, another one of these hauling posts. Where did I put it? I don't remember. Or did I actually build that? Or am I just thinking I did? Hmm. Okay, well that could be... Could be a bit of a problem. Oh, this is empty. Now how is... Oh, I paused it. No, I didn't. No available workers. Oh, so the haulers won't even take any water to it if there's not a worker there? Okay, that's kind of a uh, kind of strange. I wasn't thinking uh wasn't thinking of that that way. Huh. Well, I mean I guess that's one of the things that happens when you don't uh don't have a lot of population growth, but you have a whole lot of building growth. We're fixing it. Eventually. Yep, they're taking a while to get that done. I guess I should have the path continue down here, shouldn't I? Okay, yeah, we gotta get this uh, figured out here. Okay, why is this not... Why is this not going... Oh, you know what? You know what? These engines don't transmit power down, do they? Yeah, because this guy's not connected to the... Uh... Oh. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, but you know what we can do? Kind of, uh, kind of fix this. We can do we can do one of these. We can do one of those and go between the two. Put a little staircase there. And then we can actually 
Hmm, I, I just didn't... I didn't think this through at all, did I? I sure didn't. Because I, I would like them to be able to still go on top of this. I did not even... Did not even think about it. Well, we'll just have to uh, get rid of all this then, won't we? I'll have to turn this guy. I know they just put stuff there. I'll have to turn this into a uh, three-way. What a conundrum. And I thought I was so smart. So if you if you saw this and you pointed it out in a comment that I haven't seen yet because the video has not been published, kudos to you. You are smart. Thank you for your contributions. Hopefully we can uh, avoid making those kind of mistakes in the future. Although you guys have been pretty good about catching that stuff anyway. So since we only have six and a half days left in the drought, I think we can go ahead and let some of this water out into... Uh, our little guys right here. That's looking good. Yeah, we'll put that back up. Looking nice. Let a little bit of water out this way. Just to, uh, kind of refresh things a little bit because it is now lowering this amount of water too. Even though we could have just closed those floodgates and been fine. I am uh, curious for them to get all that finished as well. Man, now this is really irritating me. Okay. Let's, uh, let's prioritize those. Just get the rest of these uh, taken care of. Because then we're going to have to take care of all sorts of other stuff I wasn't even thinking about. I thought it was so smart. Okay. That's fine. More water storage. Yeah, that's right. I was going to plant trees over here. Let's put in another forester while we're still thinking about... Okay, that is actually pretty good coverage. That's going to allow most of this to be... Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll just have that all taken care of, and we can plant all of this as lovely maple trees. There's no medicine here, so we'll plant some uh, some dandelions too. We'll probably end up moving these uh, builder's huts. Could actually... Oh, I could put a second... Uh, second level up here. These are all scrap metal, metal blocks, logs. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and uh, put in a staircase here to the right and have ourselves a little second level right here. And then build a, uh, put a little pathway and have our path go through the center like this. Then have a second level of storage for C plank, scrap metal, metal blocks, logs. Yeah, we'll just build more here. And then right here we have enough room to put one of these uh, one of these builders huts. And then on the end of this, I guess we can put a uh, medical bed and then get rid of one of these. Are you somebody in here? Oh, they're both in here. Well, goodbye. Alright, so this one is going to end up being probably scrap metal again. Metal blocks and then uh, storage for treated planks. We don't have any treated planks yet, but we'll go ahead and designate that anyway to get our Sells ahead of the curve a little bit. All right, and that is pretty good 
usage of space over here. We can go ahead and take this guy out. Builder's Hut, we'll go ahead and get rid of the paper mill because we uh, don't need that. And you know what? Just because, actually, this was, uh, that was structural. We're going to have to, at least for the time being, put a uh, little power shaft back in here. Yeah, because we got to start planting trees in here, or else we're going to get too far behind. Okay, let's give me some maples. Oh, uh, now that's dry because... Dry because why? Why is that? Oh, there's no water in here. Well, we can fix that. This really shouldn't ever be dry. So we'll just stick some in here right quick. Now what we can do to guarantee that's not going to be a problem is put in a water dump somewhere. But I don't want to take away the ability of this guy to uh, plant anything. So if I put a water... I, mean, I can't right now because it's going to be uh, a problem. But if I... Go ahead and put a dynamite here. Blow a hole. Put a water dump there. Well, these these things are going to go away anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But we'll put that there. That's kind of right in the middle. Should irrigate most of this land. And be fine. Okay, this is... Okay, that's done. Let's put in our... Uh... Guys, right here. I think they should be able to reach all of that. But that will have everything connected here. And we'll just have to be mindful when we're, uh, we're using one of these little columns as a bridge that we shouldn't do that. But that's fine. All right, let's blow this up. Put in our water dump. Okay, yeah, that has impacted the range of this guy, but these will be gone before too long, so we'll just have to uh, be mindful about that. Let's get some water in here. And, yeah, there we go. Problem solved. All right, maples. Just uh, get this entire... Well, they're not going to get down to uh, that side very easily, are they? Chestnut tree died. Alright, I'm going to mark all these for cutting. They will get to... Uh, well, I guess I can leave this whole area open for... Uh, that's already full, actually. And we have how many maple pastries? Or do we have any? These are sunflower seeds. We're not making enough maple pastries. Why is that? Do we not have enough wheat flour? Is that what it is? Because this guy should be... Should be making... Okay, yeah, they are waiting on wheat flour. So we don't have enough wheat. We'll just grow more wheat. We have the... Uh, we have the ability to do that. So let's do that. Just increase our wheat yields. In fact, we could probably put in another... Uh, uh, it's not going to fit, not going to work there. All right, I'm going to... Let's see, what is this one? Bread? Yeah, I'm going to kind of reconfigure this whole thing. Can I fit another one of these here? No, that's too close. Uh, okay. Let's put in bakeries. Can I fit three here? I can. Alright, if I do that. 
Okay, that's good. Uh, wheat flour is going to get a different... Uh, there we go. Let's make two destinations for wheat flour. That's cattail flour. Wheat flour. Wheat flour. We'll do bread, and then we can have two, because we already have so much bread. Two for maple pastries. Then we'll have our guys like this. Then I think uh, this can be not the rubble. I want the path underneath it. Here we go. Let's put in... Uh, how many is it going to let me put in here? Alright, three of those. Ought to be a pretty good amount. And then this farm will let me go pretty much everywhere, right? Okay. Can they reach this? Yes. Alright. Uh, I'll put in more wheat everywhere over here. Alright, that's going to be quite nice indeed. Because we have so much bread. Unbelievable. Incalculable amounts of bread. I guess this one can go into... Actually, we'll put the raw potatoes on the second floor because that's backup storage. Maple pastries here and raw potatoes here. That'll give them something to something to chew on for a while. All right, so that should really help our, uh, our output of the maple pastries. All right, that's a nice project right there. How are we looking over here? We have all... Almost all. Very nice. I believe I can get away with doing this now. All right, they'll come take care of that. Okay, so now there's no... Okay, prioritized by haulers. All right, those are all connected successfully. Drought's over. Excellent news. So I guess this will probably be a pretty normal length episode then if we have our temperate season. Yeah, we might only be about might only be about an hour today. Seven hour forty yesterday. That was a fun episode though. We got a whole lot done, and we've made good progress here too. Just uh, maybe not quite as much as I originally wanted so far, but uh, we're still getting good stuff done. So. Plenty to be, uh, plenty to be happy about here. I'm gonna make this. Uh, this guy is gonna concentrate on wheat. Probably should relocate this over here. Actually, yeah. Let's um, let's do that before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's put this farmhouse right there. We'll move that so it's gonna be more centrally located instead of just having to go all the way down here. It's kind of a Shorter, easier path. Wheat flour. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Having all those maple pastries should help our beavers be a little bit happier. So we just have to remember uh, that when this all grows and it gets harvested, we'll move that guy over there. And all will be well. Alright, since we are in the temperate season, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, backfill all of this because we already have water in here taking care of stuff let's get this nice and full and then we'll let the uh, other stuff get back up to where it needs to go all right now we're up to about 150 beavers it's almost time to build another one of these barracks we'll do that shortly We're going to need to really expand our water storage because it's pretty much full right now. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put this back up to where it needs to be. Now that that's kind of taken care of. We have plenty of storage over here. We have plenty of storage over here. We got some right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see how much do I have in terms of metal. I have enough to make almost two of these. So I'm kind of wondering... No, that's not going to... 
not going to work fantastically for this. Oh, this isn't going to fit. That's not ideal. I thought that was going to be kind of a slam dunk thing to try there. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh, I can, I can just do that here. Okay. That works. Set these to water before we forget. And I can just put two more on this side, but I don't have enough metal for that yet. Okay, how's that looking? Looking good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and... So I already have these three things here. That's not a bad look. Could definitely, uh... Definitely have been worse. I'll just build two of those. Put one right here. We'll do the same thing we already did. I am a creature of habit, if nothing else. Have something look at least... At least a little bit nice. Yeah, 800 planks. Okay, we're doing good. We could actually, if we wanted to, we could build our Flame of Progress. That's going to need a place to go. So we could actually put... Oh, it kills me that this doesn't match. Um, we could put in somewhere a Flame of Progress. So this is right here. That's right there. That's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it doesn't have to be, does it? I think we'd all end up crossing through this pretty much once a day. So we'll put that guy there. Why not? No reason not to. All right. Looking good here. Looking good. We'll go ahead and uh, let this get backfilled real quick. I can't forget to shut this or it's going to start going bad pretty quickly. Okay, that can be that can be all detonated there. That's good. How's our construction going over here? Good. It's looking nice. The only problem is I want to build like five more of these, but I don't have the metal for it because we haven't moved. Yeah, we haven't moved these guys over yet. So I think we have. I think we have enough right now. If I were to go and put a, a two hundred horsepower a piece. All right. Uh, let's see, four wide. Okay. If I were to do. Two of these. Because we're going to need a lot of metal in a little bit here. I think I can build... I think I can build four of these to be fine. Power-wise. Yeah, exactly four and be fine. And then I can just build some more of these engines as soon as I have more metal. But that's going to be very handy to have that transferred over here. In fact, if they can get this going... Uh, sooner rather than later then I could just go ahead and get rid of all of this over here how are we on explosives here that's looking good just keep on keep on doing this slowly slowly backtracking now this is all nice and level here too deep so it won't evaporate quite nearly as fast although some of these are curiously dead oh that's already done that's good we can actually we have enough uh, we have enough to build another one over here if we wanted to I don't think that's a good spot for it okay uh, I can put up another decorative roof piece there well, we are starting to get some more injured beavers here. Uh, our 
medicine medicine guy over here is not uh, not living the dream. But we're going to plant some dandelions. If I can find them. Oh, they're right here. We'll give them a nice crop of dandelions. I guess we'll put a uh, we can just put them right next to the right next to the place, huh? Click the wrong button again. And then they can do whatever they want with that. Okay, now our builders are doing their thing. We got this guy doing his thing. Looking good. So part of the uh, part of the challenge of this area is we also have to have the infrastructure to haul stuff. So we are going to put some hauling posts over here. If I can find a good place to uh, to put those, I guess. I guess right here would probably be a decent spot. Just pop two of those in. Because now what we can do, if that's the case, is we can move these guys out of here. Because it doesn't really matter where the hauling post is located. It's just a place for them to work. They don't have to go in and out of the hauling post. They just have to have a uh, place, I guess, to have a record of their employment. Is how the game decides to do that, I guess. But now we are in a good place here. Uh, explosives. I guess now that I have that taken care of, I can put in two explosives factories right there, and then we'll end up putting another engine in, I'm sure. Just go ahead and queue that up for uh, for building. But yeah, this is a much, much more efficient layout for all of this. So I think that is uh, something we could be proud of for that. And then turning this into more or trees is always a smart idea. So now I can plant more here. I was, that's right, I was going to turn to turn the uh, ladders around. So what we'll end up doing, so because uh, they can travel through the uh, non-occupied side of a ladder. We'll just rotate that 90 degrees. Yep, and then uh, can't forget to put our uh, pathway on top of... Actually, I guess this is all uh, already taken care of. It's just the top level that had to have a all that. We'll put that path there, and then that should actually increase our... Yes, it does increase our range for the forester, not that it really matters. But we'll go ahead and plant uh, some more of these guys. Anyway, and get rid of that. Please don't crash on me. I will be very upset. Oh, this is where the other hauling post was. Okay, this guy... Okay, so I can't plant trees here. All right, that's fine. I don't know. Don't know why that was. Let's uh let's just get that done as quickly as we can. <laughs> so we can actually use our wood making a bunch of metal now, so that's good. Just keep on dynamiting that out of the way. Uh, okay, because as soon as I have more metal, I guess I could just go ahead and queue this up. It's going to be quite some time where everything else is taken care of, so not like that's really going to matter. We do probably need even more storage than I've added this episode because of how many beavers we added this episode. Another, like, 30 of them? That's going to be, uh, that's going to be something. Alright, I'm going to that back up to 2.5 so this one can fill up. And I think we're going to be 
in a good place here. We probably can and should stack these. But I'm not immediately concerned. Okay, we're waiting on planks and gears. All right, so we can go ahead and kill this. Yeah, we can get rid of all of that, turn that into trees once again. Well, I think we're going to want to uh, add a couple of lumberjacks as well. Just to try and keep uh, ahead of ourselves here. All right, let's plant our maple tree here. That's looking nice. Turn these into maples if we can. Oh, I can't plant a tree in that. Why did I, uh, why did I do that? Okay, we turned our uh, things sideways. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just doing their thing. They'll be fine. All right, that is looking nice here. Let's do one more. We're going to get rid of the staircases, don't worry. I just, uh, okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're coming right up against it now. we got three days left. So that's going to be the start of day 12. Will be our drought. We'll see. Is this going to be the big one? We're going to find out. I kind of hope it is, because I think we're ready. Just got to make sure these guys keep on pumping. All right, maple paste. We're still not making enough maple pastries. Okay, and this is, uh, pretty sure this is already planted, or had the planting cleared here, just in case it's not. Want to make sure that was all taken care of. That's going to take another, uh, Another day and then we'll move the farmhouse here. Good thing I uh, didn't forget about that because I definitely would not remember going to the next episode. Yeah, let's get these uh, get these wheats ground up. In fact, I think we can uh, probably even expand by blowing stuff up. Seems like a safe enough activity there. No available workers. Yeah, I don't blame you. I really don't. All right, let's get rid of that, that, and that. Clear up some space here. Plant some more dandelions for our medical people. Wow. Wow. Ah, the explosive storage. That doesn't wow. need to be here, but this kind of does. Fortunately, we can just recover all the rubble because that really doesn't matter. We'll just rebuild our monument somewhere else. Like on top of this guy. And all of this land is good for, well, something. It's going to be more trees. We all knew it was going to be more trees. Does this go all the way out here? Sure does. Let's get rid of the builder's hut here and just uh, plant some more trees. All right, so that's good. All right, we'll do a little bit more here. I actually think I can get all the way down here. Is that still accessible? Still accessible? Still accessible? Yes. Perfect. Alright, and then that's going to become that. I don't expect that to be done this episode. That's just a uh, kind of cover my butt thing. Alright, this is almost ready to be harvested. Alright, so uh, turn into regular wheat. Harvest. Harvestable wheat, please. So anticlimactic just looking at this. There you go. Alright, now come get a uh, come get picked up. Oh 
Well, that's going to take a while, isn't it? Alright. Go to work. Harvest my wheat. Get it all picked up. Get this guy. I just need you to do that for me. Could you do me that kindness? Somebody get that one piece of wheat. I can put the farmhouse there. Please. Thank you. Alright. Farmhouse goes in. Honestly, at this point, we could probably just have both of these. Although I, I don't think we really need to have both. Uh, we can we can roll with it. That'll be fine. How are we doing on... Still have chestnuts? Yeah. We're making progress. Very slowly. Alright. It's looking good there. I do need to build another... Uh, Another builder's hut while we're on the uh, subject here. Why can't I ever remember where that goes? Okay. Builder's hut. We'll just put two of those right next to each other because why not? Again, there's no reason we can't. And these haven't even been built yet because we're waiting, <laughs> we're waiting on metal blocks. We already have a uh, 14,337 day drought. Okay. Well, as promised, that is going to be the uh, end of the episode. So let's just take a brief moment to recap what we got done. Obviously, the, the major accomplishment is moving industry into one area right here. Having it be slightly nicer. We have a... Uh, wow, we're going to need more plank storage. We, uh, we can fix that next episode on Tuesday. But this is aquatic farm is looking very nice. This area is much improved with more trees here. That is definitely uh, definitely good. That's going to be hugely beneficial later on when this all grows up. Getting the uh, tower of wood, I guess, uh, pass throughable. Maybe not a huge deal, but that is is nice for the uh, loggers to be able to come in from this side and then just straight up. Adding more water is always good. Adding more... Uh, well, this guy's confused because he's injured. Adding more uh, housing is good. Adding more beavers is good. We're getting there. We are making real tangible progress. And we, uh, we didn't get to uh, everything I wanted to do with the farming here. But we have so much food right now. It, it really isn't isn't a huge priority in terms of we have to absolutely fix this right now. But that is something I would like to uh, would like to have a slightly better handle on as we uh, get deeper into the series. But yeah, lots and lots of good stuff. Lots of progress. Lots to be satisfied with. Lots to uh, still look to improve on. But yeah, this is, this is big. Well, literally it is big. But it's also very important for us in the future as we move toward expanding into other reaches of the map because now we have kind of a kind of an industrial hub if we wanted to have a second district we could have uh, trains take stuff back and forth i really want to do the trains we just have to get to the point where i actually need to build them it's sitting here it's taunting me it's only 275 science to make a train yard and then all of this is unlocked we can make stations and straight track and one-way track and slope track and intersections and mm, my body is ready the trains will come when the trains will come now well, that's going to require uh, a little bit more work to get to and uh you just kind of can't rush these things they just kind of have to go as they go but yeah lots and lots of good stuff we're in fantastic shape for the 49 day drought should we ever get one we're just going to keep expanding our storage, keep expanding our industry, and work more and more toward some of the fun late game stuff. Uh, I do want to get into the bots. 
we are just about at the point where that is feasible and might even want to explore bot only districts especially those outlying ones when we eventually go through our quest to dam up the uh, outlets on the map right here be a perfect candidate for a bot only district and just have trains take supplies everything of course beavers have to build the train track and everything but yeah you know that's that's part of the fun we'll get there it'll be a good time and I am just so thankful that you decided to spend some time today with me playing this game, having a fun time, and thinking about possibilities for the future. So as always, if you have anything to say, any questions, comments, concerns, want to roast me for bad building practices or strategy or offer helpful advice, or just say hi, comments are always open. I read every single comment that you guys send. Can't always respond. There's not always something to respond with outside of just being appreciative that you took the time out of your day to say hi or offer some sort of other comment there. So again, please feel free to interact. I like talking to you guys in the comments and we have some very smart, helpful people here. So even if the uh, comments directed toward me talking about something I've done in the game, maybe you can learn something from these people. A lot of these guys have been playing the game a lot more than I have, even though I think at this point, man, I might've put out almost 200 videos on this game. That's a, that's a lot, it's kind of crazy to think about. But there's something we can all learn. I'm always in the uh, attitude that I have uh, something more to be learned. Arrogance is not really a, a good thing to live by in your life. So I always think it's valuable to seek the input of others and I eagerly await yours. So whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a safe and fun time and I can't wait to see you back in the next video. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.